Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve another hard lead code coding question 20 to 90 minimum obstacle removal to reach corner. So this is quite recent lead code problem and this is a hard category problem on lead code. Uh, so another quite likable coding problem as you can see it from like dislike ratio. Uh, so I recently came across this problem. I recently solved this problem. I just thought that uh, it's worthwhile to create a video so I can show you how we can solve this problem using Java. We'll also discuss uh, uh, more about the problem and the solution and the logic uh, in today's video. Uh, before we start looking into the problem details, I want to mention that this channel is to help people in their Java and coding interviews. On this channel, you will find more than 400 different varieties of solved coding problems solved and explained using whiteboarding sessions, examples and Java code. All the videos and all the problems come with Java solution code where the Java code is shared through GitHub repositories. You will find the link to the GitHub code uh, on the video descriptions. Um, you will find all important coding questions varieties uh, in those problems including BFS, DFS, matrix problems, graph problems, problems related to binary search trees, linked list, strings, optimization problems, dynamic programming questions as well as lots of logical problems. So if you are preparing for any coding rounds of interviews or Java rounds of interviews, this channel can definitely help you in your interview preparation process. So please subscribe to this channel now. Also, whenever we come across any important and interesting coding problems, we create videos on this channel so that we can discuss those problems along with the approaches, logic and the Java solutions so that others can watch those videos and learn from those videos how different varieties of problems can be solved using different data structures, algorithms and using Java programming. So make sure you click on the bell notification icon so you won't miss any important uh, upcoming videos on this channel. So let's start with this lead code 20 to 90 minimum obstacle removal to reach corner. You are given a zero indexed 2D integer array grid of size m into n. Each cell has one of the two values. Zero represents empty cell and one represents obstacle that may be removed. You can move up, down, left or right from and to an empty cell. Return minimum number of obstacles to remove so that you can move from upper left corner to the lower right corner. So upper left corner is 0, 0 in the matrix right like this here and you have to reach to the lower right corner. So but we have to do minimum number of obstacle removals right that's what they are saying. So they have some examples let's take a look at the constraints. So the grid dot length is m. Uh, which is number of rows is m, number of columns is n and m and n will range between 1 to 10 raised to 5 inclusive. 10, 10 raised to 5 is 1 lakh. So the matrix size can be 1 lakh into 1 lakh. So you can imagine that it's pretty big matrix actually. So um, we have to implement our code in an efficient way. So grid of ij is either 0 or 1 as they already told us right and grid of 0 0 is equal to grid of m minus 1 n minus 1 is equal to 0 so that one will be empty cell basically right so let's understand this problem what they are saying actually on the whiteboarding session so this is the first example they are giving us so we are actually standing in this cell and we want to reach this cell right so as you can see these uh, are uh, this black are obstacles that we can remove basically correct so now um, there are couple of ways you can reach here right so for example you can go like this then you can remove one two three obstacles and then you can reach here correct or you can go like this then you actually uh, have removed two uh, obstacles right this is what they have shown us here so this is the minimum number of obstacles that you can remove and reach here basically right uh, so that is what our target is to find out the minimum number of obstacle removal right if you go like this for example then you have actually again uh, removed three obstacles right so it's not minimum so this is what the problem uh, is basically right and this is another example so uh, in this example uh, you are like we are standing here uh, upper left and lower right is here we want to go so in this case we can just go like this right 
without removing any obstacle so obstacle removal will be zero in this case correct so this is the problem that we are solving so the problem statement is pretty clear so what we can do to solve this problem is uh, we can start doing a BFS from this point right we can use a very famous technique called as BFS BFS stands for breadth first search or breadth first traversal if you don't know it already and BFS uses Q right so we will use a Q when we are doing BFS but, but this time because we want minimal number of removals what we will do instead of Q we will use priority Q here right priority Q uh, priority Q is a min or max heap implementation right so in this case we will implement uh, min heap implementation we will use right min heap in this case right so what does min heap do min heap will actually we will keep track of the row column and number of minimum uh, obstacles we have to remove to reach that row and column basically right that is what we will uh, uh, put into our priority queue we will create one static class called as state we will keep what we will keep in that state class let's say there is a state class right and that's this priority queue will hold a state class object right so what we will put in this state class we will put the row position row column column and number of removals that we have removed right number of removals or uh, let's just call it removed right so uh, and this is a priority queue which is a min hip and minhip will uh, make sure that whenever we actually remove something from priority queue we always get a state object which has a minimal removal right minimal removals we will get that's why it is a minhip so this will assure us that we can reach from this point to this target point using minimal remo obstacle obstacle removals right uh, and whenever we are at any cell we will uh, like let's say how we will go like let's I'll just show you so this is our matrix if we are let's say standing at one cell we will go in up down right and left all these four directions we will go uh, and we will uh, like keep doing it BFS like this right then we will reach here 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 and here again we will do BFS for each of these points and we will do uh, we will uh, add these cells into our queue as long as they are valid cells right valid cells so what is valid cell means means it should be inside this matrix right it cannot go outside of the matrix and uh, we will also keep track of the visited cells so once we visit a cell we don't want to revisit that cell again right so if it is already visited then we will not uh, add it to the pre uh, priority queue so this is the approach we will use to solve this coding problem so since it is a priority queue and min hip it will assure us that uh, we can reach to this target end this target uh, position in minimum number of removals basically right because that is how we will define our priority queue so i think this is the general logic we will use so uh, i'll directly show you the code because um, i think with this uh, explanation you will easily understand the code so i created one directory like directions array here right so these are the four directions that we can go as i said you know uh, want to like up down right and left so that's why i just created one directions array here we'll use that in our code and this is our static class state we'll hold row column and number of removals called as removed here right so the priority queue we will create will hold the state objects Right. so this is our main method minimum obstacles we get a grid here 2 by 2 and we return number of minimal removals which is an integer so we will first get the number of rows and columns from this grid correct here and after that we will define our priority queue this is the most important statement in this uh, code right so priority queue is hold state object holding state objects and this is our lambda expression that we uh, we are telling the priority queue how to sort the state objects right it will be sorted based on the number of removals right a dot removed minus b dot removed so it will be uh, number of removals uh, going from in the 
smallest to largest right so smallest removal you will always get first right so this is a minimum remover states right um, then we will start adding 0 0 as the first coordinate and zero number of removals we have done right in the beginning and then we have created a boolean matrix visited so that we can keep track of the cells that we are visiting correct so its size is same as the grid size correct rc and 00, 0 is we are visiting here 00, 0 so we'll add 00, 0 into visited make it true and while priority queue has some elements to process in it right so this is uh, basically bfs starts right So now while PQ is not empty, we will get the state object from priority queue. The poll is remove poll method removes the object from priority queue, correct? And it will remove the state object which has a minimum number of removals, right? Minimum number of removals. So we get the state object. First thing we will check is did we reach the destination, right? Did we reach the destination? So this is what we are doing here. So uh, if we reach the destination, all we have to do is just state dot removed. We have to return. That will tell us how many minimum number of removals we have to do to reach there. If that's not the case, we will go and we'll check four directions, right? As I told you, like we will go in four directions, correct? Like this. For each cell, we go in four directions. We uh, have that di directions uh, with like directions 2D array. So we'll take the current row and current column. We'll add the D0 and D1 means we'll get the new row, new column, correct? Uh, and we will first check if we are, we should be inside the matrix, right? And the visit cell should not be visited, right? So uh, checking if we are inside the matrix, right? Or inside the grid here and the new cell is not visited already. If that is if it's it's outside matrix or the or the cell is already visited, we will simply continue, right? We will not process that cell basically in that case, right? Now, if the cell is not, uh, it's inside the matrix and it's not visited, then we are going to visit that new cell. We will just mark it as true here in the visited array. Then we will create a new state, right? For the new row and new column, and our state dot removed will be there basically, right? Which is coming from the original state. Then what we will do, we will check if the new cell has an obstacle, right? If the new cell has an obstacle, we are going to increment number of removals here, right? This is the next state. We have increased the removed by one here, right? If there is an obstacle. And then we will add it into the priority queue, correct? So this way we will keep track of the number of obstacle we have to do, right? So we will do it for each like in four directions right this is a for loop so it will keep doing it in four directions and it will keep adding into the priority queue uh, at the end uh, if we reach the destination we will know how many removals we have to make right uh, it will just return state dot removed here if we reach at this statement it means that we just cannot reach to the end basically so we have to return minus one in that case so this is the simple bfs implementation uh, to solve this code so we can just test out this um, code snippet with couple of examples make sure it works so this is the first example right so we have to make two removals here so we are making two removals which is correct answer let's take the second example now so second example we have zero removals so we have zero removals as you can see it let us change this example a uh, little bit so we actually let's say we have all ones in this column right so it means that we have to at least do one removal right otherwise we just cannot reach to the target cell so one is the correct answer we are getting here right so we can just go ahead and submit this code to the lead code now so this is the way we can actually implement this using BFS. Our solution got accepted by lead code. Let us try to resubmit it. These numbers are changing. So yeah, see now the numbers change. So the code got accepted by lead code. It is 75% faster than other submissions which are, are done online on the performance side. 
on the memory it is 16 percent faster than other uh, submission codes so this is the way we can solve this uh, important and hard coding problem on lead code 2290 minimum obstacle removal to reach corner uh, another popular coding question so we have just simply used a bfs uh, we used we created one helper class here for state to keep track of how many removals we have done we have used the priority queue right uh, and it's a min heap implementation so that we always get the minimum number of removals uh, state from this queue so i hope you completely understand this logic and this uh, solution how we have solved this uh, coding problem in today's session if you are new to this channel this channel has a dedicated playlist for lead code problems that playlist has more than 250 different varieties of coding problems solved and explained all the videos come with java solution code where you will uh, find the code link in the video description you can check out the code you can play with the code with different test cases and for your better understanding of how the java implementation code is done uh, apart from that there are three other main playlist if you are planning for coding rounds of interviews the names of the playlist you may want to check is code forces code chef and at coder uh, all in all there are more than 400 different varieties of coding problems you will find in this playlist you will find all different varieties of coding problems you can expect in the coding interviews including matrix problems graph problems binary search tree problems bfs dfs uh, coding questions related to strings, optimization problems, linked list problems, uh, dynamic programming question as well as lots of logical problems. Uh, if you like this video, if you find this video helpful and if this video helped you in understanding this problem in an easier and better way with these examples and the Java solution code, then please give it a thumbs up to the video, give it a like to the video, subscribe to the channel your subscription is very important for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems some people find it difficult to solve different coding problems through this channel we would like to help them by showing and demonstrating them how different coding problems can be approached how logic can be built and they can be solved using different data structures algorithmic techniques and using java programming so they can watch these videos they can learn from these videos more about problem solving and programming using java so if you like this video give it a like share it as much as you can with your friends and colleagues so they can also watch these videos they can also learn from these videos more about java programming uh, data structures algorithms and how to implement and solve different varieties of problems if you like the videos on this channel if the videos on this channel are helping you some, learning something new and if they are helping you learning more about java programming data structures algorithms logical thinking and problem solving then please do write into the comments below the videos and let us know about it how the videos are helping you uh, your comments are very valuable to us that increases our motivation to create more such good quality content videos so uh, others can benefit by watching those videos so um, uh, don't forget to write into the comments how the videos are helping you uh, whenever we solve any important coding problems we create videos on this channel so that we can discuss those problems along with the approaches logic and the solutions with others so others can also learn how to solve different varieties of problems so make sure you click on the bell notification icon so you won't miss any important uh, upcoming videos on this channel keep coding keep learning keep solving different varieties of problems and thanks for watching this video